what do you think about love? Love is the inspiration for so much art, but is marriage and romantic love even a possibility in this world today? In other words, do you have to, is it best to be on your own? Because you are, now you're on your own in a way. Do you, are you happy on your own or were you happy as what you call in your hermaphrodite state when you were with Ule? Ule was not only man in my life. <laughs> there was <laughs> others. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I mean, you know, this was 24 years ago. I mean, you know, I had a life after. But, but let's, let's talk about love. You know, this four years ago, if you asked me this question, it was a very painful question. And, uh, you know, I, I love, I've been disappointed in love. You, you love again, you get disappointed again, you love again. You know, it's going on and on. And, and I was always connecting the happiness and love to somebody else, that you have to be happy if you're happy with somebody. And only the recently, now I think since last two years, that I am so profoundly happy because I understood that life comes from inside and doesn't relate to anything outside, that actually to be in peace with yourself and in peace with what you're doing is the is the really the most pure love. And then the rest that, that we all have to learn about unconditional love, because all our loves are conditional, and this is what is the biggest source of suffering. But unconditional love is really free, is about freedom. And I learned this in, in my, now, you know, so late. I mean, now, 67, you I wish you'd unconditional known, love. Would you like to have known this a long time ago? Uh, yeah, it would be so much less suffering. But you see, suffering is always good. I mean, no one artwork was made from happiness. Suffering is good stuff. You know, I always say the more uh, fucked up childhood you got, the better artist you get. <laughs> so I will not like to change anything. I just want you to learn to drink water consciously. Let's start with that. <laughs> simple, simple ritualization of everyday life helps a lot. So every time I drink some water, I should somehow feel that I'm drinking water. No, 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 no. Can I tell you how to drink water right Please. now? Okay. All right. First of all, put you, you writing down. Take comfortable position on you and don't cross your legs and sit nicely. Okay. Hold water with the both hands. All right. Close your eyes. Forget everybody around. Then concentrate on intention that you're going to drink the water. Slowly put your lips on the brim of the, of the glass, but you don't drink. You just feel the coldness of the glass and just a little zip of the water. And then take it slowly and feel how this completely nourish every atom of your body. And how it's important is life. Without water, you can't live. Then put it again down, just close your eyes still, slowly. And if you drink in that manner, 10 minutes or more, this water, this water is not water anymore. It's the life force you're bringing into your body, which heals. Simple. Okay. Well, Marina, I've been quite ill recently, as you know. But you never uh, talk to me. So uh, maybe <laughs> I should come and talk to you. Maybe you can heal me. Hmm?